Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the 29th episode of Divide and Conquer. I apologize for the delay in content again. Lately, my personal life and matters had basically, to sum it up, as Bilbo says, he had felt thin, sort of like butter scraped over too much bread. And that's more or less how I was feeling. I didn't have the energy nor the desire to knock out a recording my personal energy levels just were not there it would not have been adequate so i am back now and i decided it's time to come up with what my victory objectives are for this campaign this is 29 episodes this is turning out to be a very long campaign i've enjoyed the grand strategy of it and there are two things that i have come up with the first is to destroy mordor and Dol Guldur through the destruction of the One Ring at Mount Doom. Now for that, I do have to wait for it to move, as I don't want to fight Enidwyth to get the One Ring. I, I'd rather not have to deal with the whole mess in the West that uh, would just be another front, even though it would be nice just to grab the ring and march it on over. I'm hoping it will move over. There's many places it could go. If I'm lucky, it'll just go straight to Isengard, or perhaps Fynabel, or even Umbar, which are targets of mine. If I'm unlucky, it'll go to Karn Doom in the far, far north, and that, I might as well give up on that if that's the case. Same as if it goes to Gundabad. Should it go to Mistrand, that's not so bad, I can I can probably do that. But uh, if it goes to the far north, I'm just going to have to basically give up on that idea. I am not going to be able to send an army up north in time, as it's probably a good 15 turn march just to get there. And it would take many turns to get back. I could make a full cavalry army for that one purpose, but even then, it's going to take ages to get up there to take the ring. The secondary objective will be to basically draw a line here at the nose or beginning or end of the Harnan River, straight down to Ankaragmir and everything to the west, to conquer this region of Horondor, Harad, and Umbar. I think taking that and destroying Mordor will suffice. I don't particularly want to have to invade the far eastern reaches of the game just to finish off Khand and their homeland. As much as it would satisfy me, I could see that taking into the probably 40s or maybe even the episodes into the 50s to get this far. I just don't think it would be that enjoyable unless maybe I started streaming the campaign and just kind of played it outside of this one hour pace that I'm going at. I will go ahead and take over the turn. In other news, I have been playing a bit of the expanded unit roster sub mod, and I am very happy to see a lot of progress is made on that mod. I'm currently in the testers group for that, and there's a lot of feedback coming daily. The mod lead, he is always making changes to it, making adjustments. It's just refreshing to see speedy feedback like that. Divide and Conquer is kind of been stalling as of lately in terms of its development. Part of the reason I haven't started a Dale campaign, still waiting for Dale to be in a stage of completion that they are just not currently ready for yet. So Dale is still going to be some time off. In the meanwhile, I'm considering who do I want to play in the EOR sub mod? I like what Harad has. The Anduin Vale also seems interesting. They have some bears. Their skin changers are very powerful. Um, just note that I probably will throw on another campaign. I did have a comment about playing Darwinian, and I, I kind of like that too. I like the idea of playing Darwinian. Part of me also wants to do Rohan, but they're pretty close to um, Gondor here. So I'll continue to let that cook in the back of my mind which faction I want to do. I still want to do a Divide and Conquer video as the Anduin Vale, just to show like how... You know, how you can succeed as the Anduin Vale. Because they are quite a difficult faction currently. And I do like the Skin Changers in Divide and Conquer's version. I like just the big two-handed Berserker guys. And I do enjoy their roster. So that is a candidate I'd like to probably reserve for just regular Divide and Conquer. But EUR will be coming up. And I will be adding a series to the channel about that. I would say... I'm going to just go ahead and put my foot on the pedal here. And say it's going to be in the coming weeks. So I would say mid-April, although we're going to have a new Warhammer DLC coming in April. So maybe I should start that. I'll, I'll keep it. Mid-April, I think, sounds reasonable to start that series. Perhaps even as early as maybe the second week of April. We'll see as I go on. I really got to decide which faction I want to do there. All right, coming back here, I do want to prepare an army, which I am going to muster at Minas Tirith. Forlong is going to lead this force with some artillery. 
His job is going to be to sail to Umbar and deep strike the Ardenheim and take out their capital. From there, I can work on the other two settlements they have and then perhaps make my way up to Govel Mirlon and simply maybe give Dolom Roth some respite as they do have some issues over here. Gamil Zagar does have an army. They do have a force here in Gobel Tolfoss and they have their elites out. It would be nice to retake that, but also I think just crippling the Ardenheim would help Dol Amroth out a lot. That is a lot of troops retrained. That's good to see. Am I still making? Yeah, like 20,000 gold a turn. So I gotta be a little conservative with how I'm spending my money as I do want more troops rather than economy at this point. I mean, I might as well get the grain exchange. I'm gonna go cheap with the buildings I am making from here on out. Um, I can get another Alcaranda, so I will do that. Now, against the Ardenaim, I'm going to need Armor Piercing. They don't really have Cavalry, so as long as I have just good Archers, um, good Cavalry of my own, and some, you know, Axemen, I should be okay. This army's already shaping up pretty well. It's going to be pretty even, the, the melee fight, Gondor Infantry, and the Narduzagar, and the Narduterek that the Ardenaim have, but I feel confident in this. Maybe I get some Squires, more Axemen, I get a Gondor Archer out soon. I should be okay. Gondor doesn't have the too many armor piercing options, but they are there. Angulon got a blacksmith, that's nice to see. As much as I want these roads, it will help my income. It's just a lot of money, and I kind of just want to move on over to getting as much military out to just take out the my enemies. It's about time, right? I will get a leather worker in Lon Gallon, because I do get my pipe in here. Might as well get another one of those out on here. Cattle farming is nice to see. This place, 5% growth at 8,500. So it's about to upgrade and I'll get even higher tier infrastructure there. Maybe the next tier of uh, trade buildings and merchant fleets and all that. Callanhead's got some stables, so I'm working on getting some more Gondor cavalry out here, which is just going to be excellent. Another catapult is on the way. Our Andrew's got some chicken farming. Nothing is really needed here. I mean, I could get another artillery spot. I might just go for that. And that leaves, what, Serolon with a Master Mason's Hall. What do I even get here? Is it just uh, the Blackroot Vale Archers? Yeah, I don't really need anything else here. Maybe I'll just recruit one of those. Build a mission to get trade. Oh, well, who cares? Apparently, Angmar is the strongest faction. That is surprising, to say the least. And in the south, I am going to have to fight this army with Denethor. A lot, of, a lot of cavalry to deal with here, but it shouldn't be too much of a threat. Soon I can push on to Amon Ithel and whichever settlement. It's like right around these hills, I believe there's one. There's a castle right over here and then the main prize, Finobel. I really want to take this place over soon. Only a few settlements stand in my way and a few armies. Huron will ideally be able to defend this settlement from Hond and from Harad's forces. They still have a bunch coming inbound. I do have my own reinforcements on the way. Uh, more Fountain Guard who I will just... I might need to pat them over here to tier of right as Brad is really sending me a lot of stuff over here. Okay, guys, just calm down. Let's get some more Marines, maybe some more infantry. Let's do that. Um, I can send these reinforcements into the city. Hopefully they can make it. That'll help. That definitely helps. Um, can I get anything else here? I could get some more troops, maybe retrain these mercenaries. Veterans can get some armor or something. Hopefully this army can take care of this force if it's defensive. At least the veterans can lay stakes down, kill the Cav. I think I'll, I think I'll be fine there. Tolmaros making a push down here again, which is good to see. I should have some pikemen in this army too. I'm gonna get them over to the docks. And meanwhile, I do gotta find where the Ardenheim fleet is, but I might just need to. Oh, well that was easier to find than I thought. Let's bring you here. Hopefully I can beat this army. Balance of power is 2 to 1. This Admiral doesn't even have traits. They have one Dol Guba lock, which 1522, I believe, is stronger than my own ships. Do you have a captured Corsair standard? That's kind of nice. Let's hope for the best. I never win these battles. Okay. Let's see here. We took some sustained casualties. We did sink some of their ships, I think. No? We didn't sink any ships. Yeah, no ships were sunk, but I still have most of my men here. Wow, like, we took a lot of damage. Oh no, we, we didn't take as much damage, we out-damaged them. That's good to see. Alright, well that did damage my fleet, but it is going to make him 
A little bit better of an officer. A spyglass is going to help his line of sight. That's nice. Let's keep the docks under siege here. Where did that ship run off to? I kind of want to chase them down, but I don't know where they ended up going. Maybe they're up here? Right, well, I'm not going to find them. That was a nice win to see. That's very good. All right. Denethor's going to have to fight that. Oh, no, 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 no. I totally misclicked there, guys. That was a misclick. Hold on. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's, let's do that. Let's put you back right there. And let's reset you. That was a misclick. Um, Yerthorn is retreating as I did not have... Well, I might have enough forces to take Morgost out. I don't know. I need some artillery. I do have reinforcements here. Um, at Yerk Estelad, Durthings even got some troops. Fountain Guard will be useful. More Athelian Rangers. Yerthorn will keep pushing for Morgost. The Witch King is back, though. That's a bit scary. Um... Yeah, your army can get some remerging happening. Let's merge these troops also. I have a lot of Athelian Rangers. I want to get those in your army. More Rangers are nice. Let's do that. And should I get you some Axemen? I should definitely get you some Axemen and some new infantry. Why don't you meet up with those forces? And then we have some Fountain Guard here. Maybe those will join Boromir's army to go deal with the Witch King. Same with these extra units here. I have some more elites at the fort here. The Boromir might make a push. It might just be worth my time to take Baradur. I mean, I'm not going to get the ring for a while. It's going to keep respawning Nazgul here. I think if I take Baradur, they'll go to Dolguldur, and that's just going to make it much more manageable. So I think Boromir will make a push here for the last Citadel of Sauron. Well, not the last, but his primary Citadel. And also, I believe I saw Great Beasts in one of these armies, and I don't particularly want to be dealing with those. I hope I have some colored marines. I don't, so, uh, yeah, that's a bit scary. I don't have any javelins at the moment that could just take care of that problem for me. Can Osa Thil get them? Can anyone nearby get them? Out Hunter, no one can get them nearby. Okay. Oh, that's going to be a problem for a another day. Captain Navid must go down. He has tons of cavalry. He is... The Camel Rider, so that should be, he should be pretty easy to take care of. I think if I just do a tight defensive formation and use my artillery to make them come at me, I can defeat this army safely, hopefully snipe their captain. There's another army to the west. Denethor will be the one to try to push into Final Bell, but I do need reinforcements down here as soon as possible. And they are on their way, but it is bloody fighting her right? It's, it's a tough fight. I need to turn my free camera on. There we go. Can't play without that anymore. All right, Denethor will take the front line. He is very defensive. I'm just going to do a box pretty much. Put the Ballista Crew right there. Catapult can go right behind Denethor. Give some more to the White Tower. So maybe I'll put them like right here. Discord notifications are lovely at this time of the day. And that's you guys are together. How many more spearmen do I have? I have Citadel Guard. Why don't I put you... Right there. Some Gondor infantry can be middled up in the back line. Gondor spears, let's put you guys right there. How many forces is that? Okay. That leaves just some more infantry in the back line. Protect the ballista. Some spears can go wherever they are needed. Lebanon Marines. Put you guys on the right just like that. Lemon and Clansmen can hide up there. And then that leaves some cavalry. We don't have too many of them left. Artillery, please fire at will. Hopefully I don't get any friendly fire here. They have a lot of uh, horse archers, I believe. There's the camel riders. I just need to take out them. Serpent archers. Are these camel rider archers? Or are these just... They're just regular camel riders. Okay, not a big threat. I don't have any archers myself, so I'm just going to have to have some sacrificial spearmen, unfortunately. I'm going to have to just absorb... The damage. Our part's going to be actually killing their general. It's going to be tough. If I'm lucky, I will get a lucky catapult shot right on him. Let's move Denethor up to uh, tank the Serpent Archer's fire. I might shoot at uh, Citadel Guard. That's totally fine with me. Okay, you know what? If they're going to send their archers front, then I will do the same. Denethor keeps screening. 
They shoot you, that's better than them shooting my catapult crew or my under infantry in the back if they really want to hit for some reason. Let's do that, let's have them face the other way. Okay, where are my lancers? Pearlman Hunter's also coming up. Yeah, I need to go shut those down right now. Or they just butcher my uh, Wardens of the White Tower there. Did you guys go for the pikemen, please? Yeah, I'm gonna have to just charge. I have to. Oh, are they are they gonna hit my uh? The, wow, they're hitting my catapult crew. Okay, not the worst. Definitely not the worst. Okay, they did not get a great charge there. Still, my Warders of the White Tower should beat the Trollman Hunters. And now I can pull these guys back. Okay, where are my other spears? I have some right over here. Pull back, lads. Get back inside, come on. Okay, just let him take the damage. Let's have you shoot at the Camel Riders way in the back. Same with you guys. Nether will take a charge just fine. These guys took a charge too. They're, they're a little hurt, that's fine. Okay, South Run Warband, let's pull out the spears. I need them to fight their cavalry. This is fine, this is totally fine. Take the damage. Okay, Gunner Infantry, get up here. Words of the White Tower are fighting camel riders, that's fine. If I get some spears up there. Okay, let's get some cavalry out to this side. Denethor is just going to have to take the damage. He should be able to survive. If anyone can, it's him. If you guys work on these serpent archers. Come on, go support Denethor. It's always a bit brutal out here. I got some gunner spearmen here. This is good. Infantry get engaged. See, let's get you guys in a shield wall. Hopefully you guys don't miss any of your shots. Let's have you switch to those. You guys deal with those. Okay, this is good. The South Run Lancers are about to rout. One charge should do that. Here they come into my uh, Gondor Spears. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh, these are Gondor Infantry. That's I should not have countercharged. Okay, Serpent Guard are coming in. I need to I need to get out of there. Can't quite push into their archers yet until I've dealt with the Serpent Guard. Okay, taking some damage. This is fine. Please kill their general. Okay, let's move into the spears. Come on. I need spears on the Serpent Guard. Come on, guys. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Okay, this is good. The spearmen are now engaged. Should be able to now charge the Serpent Guard with the Gondor Cavalry. This is taking a while. Okay, Gondor Infantry, you aren't doing anything. Let's get you guys involved. Lemon and Clansmen help these uh, guys out. Looks like the Serpent Archers are out of ammo. Come on, Spearmen, beat the Serpent Guard. Gondor Infantry are surviving against the Southhorn Warband. I am taking a lot of damage. That's the only thing with Harad, they have a lot of very good cavalry. At least now I can start to hammer an anvil, my enemy. Set the South Run Warband here so I can free up these infantry. Come on, take him out! First big charge right into the South Run Warband, that should make them run away, they should die here. Excellent, they're fighting to the death, the first enemies have been broken. Infantry, just run out here now. Okay, I'm winning this fight. The Camel Riders are going down. Take another charge into these pikemen would be good. As long as I can get them in the rear. Not a great charge. Pretty bad. Okay, let's get out of there. We take too much damage. Pikes will turn around and start to massacre me. So these are always very risky. At least one unit is gone. Start working on these Haradrim archers that are stuck in melee. These guys are routing. 
Starting to win out. This is huge. No idea where the general is. Big charge. Okay, multiple routings happening. Words of the White Tower must have gotten a ton of kills here. Strongman Warrior still fighting. Understandable. Use another one of those. Okay, let's get the gunner cavalry out of the pikemen. Okay, let's form up. This general is dead. Okay, everything should route with this next rear charge, I think. Come on, let's go. There we go, come on. It's a little bit broken, but still the morale penalty should help. Come on, Seaward Lancers. Okay, yes, mass routes. Okay, now I just need to capture all of them. 20% of my force, that's not too bad. A lot of good infantry died this day, a lot of good soldiers. A little bit of cavalry were lost, some knights. So what can you do? To be expected. My men did withstand a lot of damage here, though. I think the Hera Dream suffered worse than the men of Gondor today. I mean, look at all of this. Yeah, there are some uh, wardens down here, but look at all the trollmen that got felled. <laughs> Excellent work, Wardens. Gonna we'll put them in the right area. 86% pretty good. No, 85 is that magic number, but sometimes it's good to just play it safe. I only had some archers in this army. Let's get every last one of them. 500 prisoners. Alright, that should be good. Alright, only losing 161. That's nice. Looks like I healed a good amount. 27 marines came back, 32 infantry, 14 of the bodyguard, which is about 17 of the 44 wardens did come back, 209 kills there, great job. Yeah, overall, excellent from everyone except for their artillery, they're just there to make the enemy come to me. One kill from that gunner infantry, okay, good job, guys. Yadathar shall execute these troops, and now the lands of Horondor are safe once again. I should probably get some watchtowers here in the middle, so I will do that. Nether's going to take this bridge, and my reinforcements are going to join him. Has some Fountain Guard, some more Lebanon Marines, and some Athelian Rangers. It's actually a pretty good wave of reinforcements coming inbound. Now, I should probably retrain or build any troops I can down here. I'm getting more Rangers, that's nice. Barracks would get me more Lebanon Marines, that, that could certainly be useful. What about Pilargir, can you train? You're already doing it. Fanulon, let's get another Marine. Arasas, okay, let's get some Spears. Can I get any more veterans? Doesn't look like I can. Have more troops there. Minas Ithil, what about you? Nothing good. Third thing, nothing at all. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Now, in the west, I am under siege from Isengard again. Always coming back. I do have reinforcements. Unarmored, though. Unarmored reinforcements, not my preferred type. Still, it will help. See, I could even send some pikes up there. Is that really everything I've got? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, what can you do? I should be able to sally out, defeat them, and then run into Lord Goroth, the faction leader, and then there's their faction heir, so there's a chance that I could just regicide them here. Okay, Rohan, you have a, you have a lot of uh, units over here. What's going on? You're under siege? Please tell me you're not going to lose Eisen or Helm's Deep to Isengard at this stage in the campaign. That would just be way too much. Oh, I do have multiple units of cab. Okay, I'm going to sally out real quick and... Wow! That is, um... That is a little more elite than I was anticipating. Okay. Orthanc Guard and Orthanc Wardens, Urukai Infantry, Urukai Pikemen, Catapult. I need to deal with them soon. I might need to send some, like, heavier reinforcements out here. What the heck? They're bringing out the top guns. Our foes appear to be gaining the yeah, thankfully, I can probably get to the catapult before they can get away, right? I have a cavalry advantage here. Issues my infantry is... That's it. I'm even, I have to use my archers as infantry. It's pretty bad. And I do have, I do have my captain, at least. I guess I could throw him in there. Okay, yeah, let's capture that ballista. 
and maybe get a charge on the crossbows? No, there's there's no way. Yeah, they've brought out the elites in this army. At least I have some reinforcements coming inbound. I don't think they're going to be that useful in this battle. They're pretty far away. Pikemen are terrifying. It's a very elite force. I'm glad it's not supplemented by a lot of trash. Okay, let's take care of that. That's one issue dealt with. I can deal with them. The wargs are a bit annoying. I do have 25 spears and a general that can fight them. I'm guessing the wargs are their general, so I'll need to snipe them down. Issue is, I can take a lot of damage from their crossbows here. It suffer pretty bad here. And the crossbows are anti cavalry, they have spears. So they're not exactly a unit I can just charge into. I think I'm gonna have to wait for these reinforcements to get here. I literally don't have the means to defeat this army if they don't get here at all. Yeah, let's see. Are they gonna just walk towards my reinforcements? I mean, I'll take it. What are they going to do here? I might be able to catch them off guard. If they're going for the reinforcement army, might be able to just get a sneaky charge in on like the wardens who I don't believe are anti-cavalry, but oh, they're terrifying, aren't they? Also forgot I did a Dunland campaign and I kind of just dropped it off of the uh, off of the channel. <laughs> it uh yeah, it was it was rough. I was not having too much fun with that one. Hey, let's just get an early charge. If they want to run to my other units, that's totally cool with me. Yeah, let's hit the Orthanc Wardens early. Every, I want all of you over here, please. And they are just going to ignore me for the most part. That's a decent side charge into the Orthanc Wardens. Let's pull back. Where's my uh, general? Let's have you tackle okay let's pull away let's have you guys tackle the works oh come on right away get cavalry get away from the works please get you oh geez this is bad okay come on just run in the belly uh oh Can you capture them please okay perfect i think i did i got the works that's huge You guys there okay this is this is gonna work this is definitely gonna work i just need to more or less avoid those guys one calf the rear charges and i should be able to deal with all of this fun stuff come on do not let the works get away do not let dang it they got away now at least another charge on the or thing they are down to 76 already so i I did get a good first strike on them. They're already wavering. That's huge. Something changes in the Come on, let's get out of there. But defeat seems almost certain. I'm just gonna have to fight them, aren't I? Come on, let's get through there, get through the gaps. Uh oh. No, 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 do not. Oh no. Crap. Okay, I gotta chase them down. My reinforcements are gonna get destroyed by wargs. Uh, I should have just. That's so bad. My spears aren't gonna be able to make it in time. Come on, are you serious? Okay, get away from the pikes. Please just. Oh, this is so bad. Come on. Come on. They're not gonna make it. Of course they go for that one unit that I don't want them to go for. 
As long as I keep running away, I should mitigate their charge. Okay, that's good. That worked out well. Not perfect, but it worked. This fight is okay. Yeah, I just hate LA just decided to go for the one unit that I really could not afford to do anything about with. And the Orthanc Guard are now sniping me too. Yeah, that's just that's just wonderful. Okay, well at least at least he's dead. Okay, perfect. That'll help. Okay, these guys are all running away. The Urka infantry is still fighting. I have more cavalry reinforcements on the way. Come on, you guys rear charge them and you come in from this side. It's gonna hurt. This depth, this volley is going to hurt. Or think guard are very accurate. Seems almost certain. Okay, they stopped shooting. I'll take it. The battle seems Actually, good damage there. From such tidings, does Let's pull back. Emerge. Another cab. Looks like we finished I'm off the these guys. Remains. This is good. Hopefully, those guys do not come back. That would be if amazing we if they don't. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay. Charge you. Have you guys? Run away. This is a very risky charge. Go back. Some damage, which is good. Gotta just rely on the infantry here to clean them up. Gotta keep here Lewin alive. If he dies, then this is uh well it's not gonna be it's not gonna be good. Okay, they're not in a brace formation, so they should take a lot of damage here. Hopefully. Here, let's get you in melee. Just, I need you in melee. Your your archers, your arrows aren't going to do anything. How's this fight going? It's a bit rough. Yeah, I lost. Okay, I lost a lot on that charge. There's a lot of cavalry on that frontal charge. There we go. Let's pull out. Let the uh, let the Blackbird Vale archers take care of this. Okay, perfect. They're already routing? Okay, this is great. That means I just need to deal with the, uh, the cavalry over- or the pikemen over here. Uh, you're too risky to send in, but if I send in these knights... Spearmen are doing okay in shield wall. It's a decent method of dealing with pikemen. And our infantry on the flank are working. I'm hardly killing them. That figures. There goes the captain. That was their target. They're like, we can kill this captain pretty easily. Shaken. Okay, wavering. Once the kills start coming into factor here. They pull out. Use the other cavalry unit. Sucks to be losing so many knights already. But uh, I wasn't expecting Isengard to send such an elite force at me. Come on, one more charge. Come on. Just really push in there. Come on, guys. Problem is, I'm also exhausted because the soldiers had to run across the battlefield to get here. Okay, but the pikemen are trying to run away. I'm now in melee range, so I can actually get some hits on them. And you guys back in. That pikeman and this mod are just ridiculous. The thing is, in vanilla, they have a secondary weapon, so if they get if they get uh, surrounded like this, they'll switch to their swords because they can't effectively hold a pike. But in Divide and Conquer, that was removed, so it makes pikemen incredibly powerful as they don't rely on they they literally can't switch to a secondary weapon. But I mean, they are not impossible to deal with, but. They are painful to deal with. <laughs> Definitely painful. And they run, they pretty much walk at a running speed for other units, which is another thing I don't like about pikes. I think they need to be a little bit slower at those walking speeds. Good job here, Lewin. You got 237 kills. How'd the other cavalry do? No casualties inflicted. Oh, it's the unit of nine. Let's see here. You got five sustained, healed two, 31 sustained, healed two. Uh, that's rough. 
At least I can easily send cavalry back this way. But yeah, I'll have to make the next push onto Isengard's town and then just hope that Rohan can deal with it from there. I could also just start besieging Isengard and take the capital itself. I mean, we have done with we have dealt with the last stand army. That's that's been fought. It's just these Watch remnants. The All right, good job. I have some soldiers here. Hopefully, can I even retrain? Do I have a way station here? I do. That should allow me to retrain these guys every once in a while, right? These guys can get retrained. Yeah, I mean, that kind of helps, I guess, the way station. All right, in the south, Lulubor is on his way. This army is very tattered. It's going to need reinforcements soon. I guess I have I have some I have some here. Like Rickville archers. Cavalry. Miscellaneous units. These guys are gonna be used for Umbar, which is gonna be a big fight. Gillibrand, I might I should be able to offset some of these guys too. Yeah, I don't really need them all here. Let's bring these to the south. Gillibrand can hold itself, the Moranin. I should be training regular gun or infantry before too long, right? 35%? Not bad. Perhaps I should get a spy over there to help with the culture. The blood of okay, I think that's it for this turn. God, I should probably just send these guys out to a fort down over here or something. Maybe take that fort just to be a distraction. Uh, I need to. I wish this town was upgraded so I can get more good troops over here. Carnos can also train units. Definitely spread thin at this at this time. But this, there will be a new host on on the way from Minas Tirith. I'm excited for that one. More along to lead those forces. I think these for the next few turns. I just need to invest entirely in units, though. I need I need military. I don't need economy. I need soldiers. Send send dudes. Well, terrible news. Rohan could not stop Isengard from taking Helm's Deep. So that is a. That is another roadblock down here. Like, are you kidding me? This is the army that beat the defenders, the royal guard, and the general. Rohan is just terrible in auto resolve, aren't they? Come on. And you have all of these units sitting here. You have guards of the caves. You have Rohirrim. You have gambling with a full army, and still you aren't attacking them. You can win with this, Rohan. Just send. Send the army in. Take the full bird back. It's just, it's pointless. It's utterly, utterly pointless. Oh, I was going to got cattle farming. Maybe eventually you'll be able to upgrade into a proper settlement. Ithil got an armor. Okay, nice. I'm not going to worry about that. I said I would spend all my money in buildings or in military, and I will. But you know what? I will upgrade the city at least. That is worth doing. Uh, Namir, you got a librarian. That's cool. Is this place ready to upgrade yet? One more turn and it will be. Okay. Tier 3 is ready to upgrade. Ethering is ready to upgrade too. Why not? I'll upgrade cities. I like doing that. All right, I am now the strongest faction in the game again. And uh, I think it's time I just do some assassination missions. If I can take out Gazhorn, take out first Captain Herzog, that will leave just Lord Goroth, who's off by himself. The blood of New Perhaps I could do this. Perhaps I could just get a sneaky assassination mission in there. I will need this full army. Look at these guys got retrained. That's huge. Bring in those. I hope I get some reinforcements soon. I send you over there, Goon. Can you recruit anything? Anything at all? No? Maybe it's time I work on that. Okay. So, Irluin is going to work his way. Can I just attack you straight up? I can. Okay. Few small Isengard skirmishes. I'll take the city. We'll take out all of their leaders, and that might even just regicide them. I would be really happy to regicide Isengard here. That would be massive. This should be a quick battle. Three units of cavalry. Mostly I'll try to use here Lewins because he regenerates, so he's a little more important. Um, these guys getting retrained is also massive. Captain's bodyguard, I want you on the wars, wherever they are. 
They're going to be right over there. That's totally good with me. Urkai Archers, Orcmen, Banegard, the fun stuff. Let's move up. Necrovale like Archers, I probably want you guys shooting at the Bane Guard. They're probably the biggest threat here. The other two cavalry up a little bit closer. At this point, I'm just going to go full aggression. I'm tired of being on the defense. Let's get out of there before they charge you. Black Reveal Archers start to fire. Let's intercept, please. And charge. This is good. We're gonna hide for now. Let the uh, let the captain's bodyguard deal with the works, deal with the mobility advantage they have. Okay, let's give our units some area to shoot at. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Pull back, lads. It looks like they're going to run towards me. Let's get some spears over here. Keep running away from them. Try to take out the general real quick. Another infantry will tackle the Bane Guard. That works out well for me. I'm using early ability here. There was the general. Excellent. If you guys hit the Bane Guard, you guys charge them. They will get out of there. You guys can go run and deal with the archers. Bane Guard, come on, please get routed. You're taking some damage from the archers, that's fine. The Bane Guard are gone. It's actually huge, that'll allow me to get into melee here in a second. One follow-up volley. You guys on to those, please. Only half the enemy force remains. Everyone can stay in combat for a moment against the raiders. Hey, okay, this is actually running it swimmingly well. Come on, you guys should be able to cause fear and make them run away. Come on. They're fleeing. I think everyone's fleeing. Yes, okay. Quick snipe. There goes one more general of Isengard. They might pick up another through adoption. Still, if I can just get quick, swift wins like this, where I'm not losing too many soldiers, it'll be all right. Did lose a lot of clansmen, but at least the way station can replenish them. It's a big advantage to way stations. What am I at? 90%? Okay, I'll call that one good. By the victory, we have there goes another threat. Now I can besiege that town, trade that town to Rohan, and then simply just not have to worry about Isengard attacking me. And kind of build up a force, slowly besiege out of the settlement, and all will be done. Or in a better case, I kill all of their family members, the last of the Uruk chieftains here that are in power, and then Isengard is no more. Watch for the enemy. Yeah, execute. Straight up executed. And, oh, perfect. I can already besiege this place. So let's start that. It's a pretty elite army, so I'm not even going to worry about uh, trying to take it with the infantry. The big issue is going to be whatever they have over here. Now, they don't have a... They don't have a leader here. There's no chieftain in power. That'll help. And in another few turns, I'll have more reinforcements. This is working good. This is working very good. Can I actually get an upgraded barracks here? Oh, I do. I just need the culture, which I don't have yet. I should have had a spy here. Hmm. Oh, well. Might as well get the stewards. No, nope. I need I need soldiers. I need, I need men. I need dudes. I need good dudes. I need professional troops that I can retreat. I can't... I don't recruit militia in this campaign, so I can't take those... Under archers, great. Gondor infantry, I'll take them. Spearmen, yes. Two Gondor infantry, absolutely. Put them on the menu every time. That's pretty much everything, huh? 
Oh, it's something. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way down to Morgost. I will take that settlement. Orlong is about to arrive in Minas Tirith along with his artillery, who I might as well just put on the boat. I might as well go on there already. Alright, this is looking good. I should probably just preload some of these units. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's see, we're gonna have Axemen. I'll need some more infantry for this fight. Probably another catapult, too. This is gonna be a big settlement. It's gonna be a hard fight, too. Oh, there's some cavalry. Yeah, let's get these guys down there. Put you guys on the boat. Some more infantry here ready for arms and armor upgrades. I want these veterans down in the south. I do want the upgrades on them, but at the time, I need them down here. I need them down here ASAP. More rangers is good. Now, they did send another army to Tirithoros. Hopefully, if they can just take this place, I would love it if they can just win this fight. What's going on here? They are not under siege? I'm so confused. Okay, there they are. Oh, but there's the Serpent Lord, so they might not be able to win that fight. Hopefully they can. Oh, I do have some reinforcements here, though. Excellent. Get you guys in the city. That'll help. So if you guys join him, you guys can go to Pilar Gear for some retraining. Let's get those ships healthy again. I don't need those. And yeah, this is looking good. So, Phil, can you retrain anyone? No, you can't. But you are a castle, so I should start upgrading you. I have to put these rangers down there, too. I kind of need every hand on deck. What are you guys doing over here? That is an army. Do I deal with this army? Yeah, geez, I need to, I need to fight this. There's no way I, I can win down here with this. these forces. At least I have plenty of culture here, so maybe I send these spies somewhere else that needs culture. You're at 50%. That's cool. I really need it up here, right? You're at 61 we're only at 37. Hmm. Tier 3, though, you're at 40% and you're about to upgrade, so I will be able to get more units here eventually. Tier Thoros could use a spy also to help its culture, so I will do that. I shall continue to I'll leave the rest for the moment just to keep the culture high here. Yeah, Denethor, you need to. Ugh, can I just. Can I just do this? Cool. That works. Yeah, I did not. I didn't really feel like fighting that. <laughs> Let's get you guys over here, Caldun. Let's take you out. You're a pretty weak general. You have a lot of cavalry though, which I hate. I hate fighting all this cavalry. But uh, yeah, I need to deal with you and Uldor because Huron does not have an army to do it himself. All right, same tactics, Denethor. You need to be in the front line along with your Citadel Guard and Wardens of the White Tower. They are very good on the defense here. Some ballista right over there. Catapult right behind. Everyone's at fire at will. Fire at will. That's good. See, and then honestly, just put the put you guys like right there in a nice formation to take some charges. Because who cares about you guys? I care. You guys are important to me. And then I need I need a lot of spears. I need spears there. I need spears here. I need infantry. That is ready to engage where their infantry is so that the spears can maneuver to wherever the cavalry is. Okay, that should be fine. And why the heck are they way back there? That's annoying. It's very annoying. They're just gonna have to march for a while. I don't know why they decided to take Forced in position here. Uh, that's right, they have that ballista. That's going to be moderately annoying to deal with. When I do have two ballistas myself. I'd rather just shoot Serpent Guard, though, than deal with their ballista. Never. Maybe I get in range and just get far forward to deal with that. How close do I need to get? Get both of you in range. I might as well shoot the Black Snake Guard if they're going to be far forward. Let's, let's move you guys up like that. 
few early kills on the Black Snake Guard will be nice, just to soften up the general just a little bit. I'm lucky I'd get a shot that would just skewer him. Usually I am not that lucky. Okay, let's switch to the uh, Ballista now. Oh, that's a good amount of kills. I'll, I'll take that. Cool. Now they are going to fire back at me. But I think because I have kind of an advantage here, two Ballistas, I should be able to slay theirs. And knowingly their archers are moving up, totally fine. I can't do too much about that. Come on, take out their ballistic crew for me. You guys see with the archers that are way too far forward. We've taken out any ballistas. We've taken out one. Taken out two. There goes their archers. You silly gooses. Let's have you also shoot at the ballista for now. Run away. Ooh, sounds like we got some good damage there. The really Citadel Guard in the front line, about to take a charge here from the Lancers, totally fine. Come on, let's get you guys out of there. Did you guys take care of the Camel Riders? Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not good. How many spears do we have here? No, 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 do not get engaged with camels, please. Uh oh. Spear wall, spear wall. Yeah, let's 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 not. Let's turn around, please. Listen crew are engaged. I don't really care about them. Uh oh. This is bad. We need to run away. We need to run away right now. Okay, that works. You know what? Never mind. We're fine. Got him. I don't care about my ballistic crews going down. I, it's whatever. They're they're easily replaced at this point. Come on, take out their lancers. Stop those camels. That the Black Snake Guard is staying defensive. That's totally fine. Uh oh. They're going to charge into me over here. Come on. Let's stop the camels. That's going to hurt. I'm going to lose a few of them here. Uh, so annoying when you don't have spears in the right spot. Right, just being very annoying with their uh, cavalry superiority. They're keeping their lancers far away too, which isn't helping. Alright, let's, let's turn you on to regular fire. Maybe that'll help you a little bit more. Oh, here comes more camel riders. And you guys just be responsive. My knights are just not listening to me. Come on, let's get around the back here. Venom Marines, please kill these camels. I'm gonna keep fighting for a while. As long as they still have some of those, uh, as long as their general's alive, they are basically going to fight to the death. Come on, let's get you out of there. I need to free up my spears. Alright, charge the camel riders, I guess. Did you guys pull out? Looks like Southern Warband are not going down yet. 
Put you guys into melee. Uh oh, do I have any? I don't have any spears to intercept that. Okay, no, they got intercepted themselves. That works. Still no guard down to already 31. Are you kidding me? These camels are just not dying. Here, don't don't worry about the don't worry about the spears. Just worry about protecting my interests. Uh, you know, if they can't get a charge off, it is worth charging them. Come on, kill their general, Denethor. That's all I need you to do. Come on. Come on, get away from the spears. The freaking camel. No, no, what the heck, guys? Come on. Okay, perfect. Now I can finally win this battle. Uh, he's gone. Everything should start to flee. This is good. Yes, chase them down. And if we got a bit messed up here. Did you guys deal with those? Do I have any spears? Oh, I just have a giant blob of soldiers. That's great. Uh, it's almost like I need to have spearmen only armies to deal with Harad, but then they outclass my spears, so it's not exactly a great trade. I mean, I have better armor and better stats generally, but it's much harder for me to get some spears than it is for Harad. Ah, oh, Territorial Guardsmen, I miss you. <laughs> this has been an interesting campaign without you. Great. Alright, one less army we're here to deal with. And I will have reinforcements soon for Denethor. These fights are just... They are not great. And these aren't way station units, so I can't get more Gondor Calvary. I'm going to have to send them home. I can get the Seaward Lancers replenished. Uh, another hundred soldiers lost. Today. Hurts. Hurts every time. Might not even be worth it for me to, like, deal with, um, Umbar at this time. Maybe this new army should just go straight to Finabel And hit Harad right in their heartland. Maybe even just destroy everything that they've worked hard to accomplish. Completely destroy the city and move on to the next. And just do a cycle of destruction in their homelands. Ah. Time to win this war. I'm gonna need some better tactics. Alright, Ulbar is the next person to fight. He doesn't have much cavalry. So Huron's forces aren't going to do so great. God, he really needs some retraining. I have nothing. Yeah, you know what? I might need my armies down for Harad. I might not be able to do the Umbar attack. This force is probably going to be needed to just do a deep strike right at Finabel. Because they're getting way too many units out here. Umbar will probably have to be a last... Like a very in-game thing to deal with, because there's just too much going on out here. There's just way too much going on out here. You guys on the ship, let's get more reinforcements into Tier Thoros. I need everything here. Catapult Maker is tempting. Can I get a way? I think I already have a way station here. What would I need to get a better barracks? A governor's quarters? I should probably do that. I'm going to need reinforcements here. Same is right here. I mean, this is a good army with the uh, Swan Knights. I will not waste words Can I get any mercenaries? No, I can't. Uh, uh, I guess I can retrain a little bit. Probably just uh, weapon upgrades, right? But still, that'll help. Anathar, do I want to deal with Ulbor? Uh, the Very Eggs have so many forces. Words. I hate the Very Eggs in this campaign. What? Utterly very, very annoying. Very, very annoying. Let's move him down here. Yeah, they just have... Un I mean, I am their only enemy. They're going to send everything they have at me. I just have no means to train troops down here at all. Get a barracks there. Another, another unit of tribesmen won't hurt. Not tribesmen, but, uh... You know... Pillar here, Marines. The ones I keep reading the names of every episode. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end the turn. 
Oh, Isengard had some hidden reinforcements that must have been in the trees or something. This is going to be a tough fight. I think if I can manage to deal with the reinforcements first, kill out that general, I can get rid of this force relatively fast with my cavalry, and then I should have just enough infantry left over to deal with this army. This is going to be the very last episode or not last episode, last fight in the episode. And it's going to be one of the toughest. At least by defeating this army and taking this settlement, I can just give it to Rohan and uh, re kind of retrain my forces out here. I just can't believe how incompetent they've been. Isengard was, would basically would eventually win at the rate that Rohan was doing. Okay, you know what? If, they're fighting me first, or is the city reinforcing? I think the city's attacking me first. Maybe I do just have to deal with the first army and not the reinforcements, because I'd have to run past them anyway. Yeah, I think that's going to be the case here. Right, I have a good front line. Keep you guys in a loose formation. You guys to flank. And then plenty of cavalry right over here. Okay, so it is the weaker army. The long spears are going to be annoying. Let's just, let's just immediately take care of those. Double ballista is also going to be annoying. Archers, let's shoot those berserkers, please. Our foes appear to be gaining the yeah, that's fine. If I can just murder them real fast here. Oh, cool. They're going to put their general on me immediately. Of course they are. Here's a tight formation, come on. Okay, I've stopped those guys. Into a loose formation, please. Or tight formation. Right, fight the long spears. You guys need to run away from all of those. Here, hit those long spears. One long spears going down. That's good. Berserkers down to seventy men. Not bad. And still disrupting the ballista is good. And these are spear guard. I can't exactly just charge into spear guard. How are we doing over here? Down to 62. You guys on defense. Come on, let's take out these uh, long spears, please. Big charge coming inbound. They're wavering already. That's huge. And they're broken. Great. Only half the enemy force remains. You hit those. Wow, you lost 12 men in that charge. Are you serious? Oh, why am I not surprised? Okay, well, the reinforcements are already here. That that sucks. At least, okay, the long spears are fighting to the death. And I've disrupted the artillery again. I gotta get away. And I, all of this is routing. This is great. The Urukai crossbow, that's a bit concerning. You guys can chase all those reinforcements. And you've stopped the crossbows from firing, which is good. The ballista crew are probably back on their piece. I hate how the Urukai bodyguard are just chasing my cavalry and defending their ballista. So if you stop moving for a second, 
Get some stamina back. Urkai Raiders. Okay, this is getting to be very well spread out. Vanguard, yeah, let's shoot those. Go for the crossbows. Go for the ballista. Come on, don't let them fire. I gotta keep my archers online. That's pretty important here. Reavers are gonna be annoying to fight. Can you guys just finish off the ballistic? Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, let's not directly charge into Reavers. Alright, time to go into melee. Yeah, you guys just gotta keep fighting the uh, Bane Guard, shooting at whatever. Let them go onto these spears. You guys right there. Keep firing at the Reavers, please. You deal with those. You deal with the archers. You finish off the Ballista Crew already. Come on. Taking way too long. Uh, and these guys got... Of course, they got attacked by the Reavers. I should not be surprised. You guys on there, please. Okay, let's move you guys away. Looks like they're gonna try to chase the uh, the cavalry again. Totally works for me. I have a completely fresh unit that I need to get down here. At least the crossbows are going down. I think they have a they have a general somewhere in here, right? Why does that count as pursuing? That should be a charge. General, that's just some berserkers. All right, landed clansmen, counter charge those. Hey, Lewin, I gotta be very careful with you. The cavalry's already becoming much less effective. All right, let's just put, you guys are in melee, you might as well fight. Oh, there's the bodyguard. Or one of them. It's gonna be a heck, hell of a fight. A big charge on the Reavers. That's what I really need to get some uh, balance in my favor. Come on, let's kill those crossbows. One more charge on the Reavers should do it. Oh, come on, Blackbird Vale Archers. I need you to cut through these Urukai Raiders a little bit quicker. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half Should have two men. bodyguards to deal with, which is not an easy fight. And there's one. You see what those? Let's try to get you guys on to the bodyguard. Please kill them. 46 archers. I might as well finish them off. Of course, they're just going to ignore me and go for here, Lewin. There's a real chance that he will die in this battle. It would not be fun for me. Come on, just finish him off. Okay, they are just cleaving through my Black Veil archers. They don't care. Uh, thankfully, the pikemen haven't gotten involved yet. Come on, re let's relieve the archers. They are kind of winning the fight. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Yeah, they're exhausted. I know. I know. What the heck is this charge? <sighs> that was an awful charge. Fortune of battle goes our way. Fourteen bodyguards over here. Come on, guys, run. I need to kill this bodyguard. Let's charge into them. At least these guys are running away. I still have a hundred of my archers, which is huge. 
Bodyguard's still running. Spears has put you off defensive mode. And now is where things get difficult as I have Urukai Pikeman in combat. Come on, let's get you guys in there. Maybe just hit these raiders to relieve my infantry. This is just such a slog. Killing a few more, it's a slow process. Okay, most of these are down. Allow me to shoot soon with these archers. Have you hit the Urkai bodyguards, please? I need to kill both of them. They're both still alive. Well, and that should finish them off. There's another defensive stance. Another big hit on their general, but he is still standing. Let's get you guys in there. Run away, please. I told you to run. Okay, excellent, excellent. That's one. That'll teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. That's one. There's just some Bane Guard left fighting in here. Get you guys around to flank those. Where's that last general, though? Is he, he's not in the Bane Guard, is he? That wasn't even... No, that wasn't even their uh, faction error or whatever. He's just in combat here? I don't even know. Okay, well, my general just got massacred there. That figures. Yep, just shoot the pikeman. My, my captain's dead. He's definitely dead. If they turn around... Yes, yes. They turn around. Come on, get out of there. Perfect, he is somehow alive. I'm just gonna get you completely out of this fight. Yep, just keep shooting them. It's my best way to deal with them. Another charge going into the Bane Guard. Pretty soon it'll just be the Pikemen, which are gonna be tough to deal with at this point. Amazingly, this captain is still alive. I did kill both of them at some point. Unless he's the pikeman. There's no way he'd be the pikeman, right? He is! What? They got a pikeman general? Okay. That's that's totally cool. That is that is very bad, actually. I am going to have a very hard time dealing with that. And because they have an armor set of, like, 10 before upgrades, they're not really taking damage from my bows. I might as well use every shot I have to soften them up. Yeah, just keep running, lads. I'm gonna have to just let my troops have as much time as possible to regain their stamina. I will run out the timer for a bit. If the cavalry can get back to like fresh, that would be basically my best bet here. Get one more volley in. Keep running. And I get to like, okay, he's already at very tired. That's gonna help. Remember, I'm out of ammo completely. I'll have to save them for a rear charge. They do have a high charge value. Still very tired and exhausted. Tired, that's better. Exhausted, exhausted. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay, very tired. 
This is like, I think the only way I win this battle is by getting them back to like fresh. Or at least warmed up or winded or something. I have to play Ring Around the Rosie for a few more minutes. Sorry, this is the most, probably the least riveting gameplay you've ever seen. The balance of power is only slightly in my favor. These guys are back to tired, which is good. I think it's based on how many models are left. So if the full unit's there, they'll regain stamina quicker, but if they're at half strength, they're gonna regain their stamina like half as fast. Loon's already winded, that's good. I'd like to be warmed up with all of them. I think that's how I win this fight. Keep running back. I'm not gonna get stamina back for these guys. Oh, no, 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 don't change target, please. Oh, okay, that's annoying. They've switched. All right, Spearman, get in there. Yeah, also flank with you. Oh, am I gonna get? A, am I gonna get a second to just do what I want? Okay, they're warmed up. They're winded. Oh, okay, now they're coming in. All right, it's time I start charging. We use here Lewin last because he has a very real chance of dying on contact. Okay, good damage. I did lose a few knights. That's fine. Come on, another charge. Let's go. The general at he's right there, so he isn't. What was that charge? Don't even charge like that. If you're not going to, jeez, send the full unit. They get a couple more kills in the back here, slowly whittling them down. It's not an easy fight. That's why I hate pikemen. And there we go. Take out a few more. We take out maybe like five each charge. Yet I lose about the same number in knights. Come on. I still have Black Reveal archers. I have a hundred of them to charge into this formation. Come on, get those attacks off, Cav. He's pretty much going to fight to the death. I need to get to the archers in melee now. Thirty-three. Come on, we're making progress. If even I can just kill one or two on a charge, that's good. But I, again, I take equal damage with my cavalry. They just go down. Yeah, I didn't even take down a single guy there. All right, I just have to do this with infantry. It's got to be the archers. Come on, big charge. You guys have a huge charge bonus. Please kill them. Pikes are definitely overpowered. And these are middle... These are like... They're elite pikes, but they're not the strongest pikemen in the game. And yet they are still absolutely insane on the battlefield. Fully surrounded. I mean, yeah, my infantry is exhausted, but they are still winning the fight. I think now it's starting to come over to my side as I'm just getting more numbers around them. Getting multiple units actually able to attack them. Yeah, the Black Reveal Archers definitely coming in clutch here. They're basically in a skill trim formation. Like, realistically, they shouldn't be able to fight like this. They should not. You wouldn't be able to get the spear in a position to attack the guy in front of you. Or at least there's a few armor-piercing clansmen in here helping out. The clamors are doing damage. Yes, there he goes. 
Without him, his that was will to fight. that's a fight for sure. Yep, just finish them off, lads. The enemy are Ooh. utterly vanquished. This is definitely a heroic victory. victory. With this, the Fulberg is retaken. I can give that back to Rohan, and hopefully, they can deal with with Helm's Deep. I'm gonna need a lot of professional troops to deal with Isengard proper. Oh, it's just been crazy. I still have two other units of Gondor infantry on the way, but that's not enough. Yeah, execute. There's their their uh general. I can slay him, and hopefully that's the end of Isengard. Yeah, let's just um occupy for now. All right, this is pretty much going to be the end of the episode. Of course, two settlements are now under siege in the south. Imled Karnan, combined force of Haradrim, and Barry Eggs with a lot of infantry. Denethor can make it to relieve them, but his army is basically useless. Well, not quite, but it's very tattered. I at least have some reinforcements, so they will join that fight in the next episode. A lot of construction to be dealt with. Finish out with that. Long Galen, yes, you can upgrade. Yes, please do that. 20,000 gold to spend on infrastructure. Tier Thrides under siege. Also, that's right over here. And yeah, I do not really have a force for it, but this army is pretty weak. I have Orodreth. I have some Swan Knights. I think I can sally out and fight that out. Next year, we've got a grain exchange. Let's grab the market. On Galen, you're upgrading. Care Andros, let's get that catapult maker. Galebrin got some stables, which is very nice. I can get some uh, more Gondor Cav out on the field. I even want to go for the practice range, get the archers. I don't even know if I want that. I would need a steward's hall to do that. That's Actually, I might already have that done. I might have that ready to go. Hmm, tempting. My population here, it's good enough. Yeah, I, I might as well. That leaves York Eslav the Governor's Quarter. That's good. Got to work on getting that population up, though, if I want some better troops here. Yeah, maybe I can get a school. That leaves Dorthing with a school. That's nice to see. Work on getting the barracks ready. Inlaid Karnan has a steward's hall, so eventually I'll be able to get some good soldiers here. Now, I will do one last thing. Let's take care of Lord Goroth, their faction heir, because they might not have a general, and they don't. So, Goldberg is going to go to Rohan. I'm going to give you that region. Are you if meager wealth? I'm not really too worried about that. Just give me like a thousand gold. It'll be cool, Rohan. I accept. Well, that's great. All right, they have Fulberg. They had enough culture to actually get their own troops here, which is huge. And this might finish off Isengard. This just might. I need this relief. This has been a very stressful campaign. I'm gonna need this relief. Alright. Oh, I shouldn't need much more than here, Lewin, and these captain's bodyguards, so... Yeah, let's go in. Come on, get in there. Gotta make sure that my bodyguard lasts long enough to survive. I didn't check to see if he got any battle scarred traits, but I'm sure he might have. First charge going great into the bodyguards. Lord Goroth already down to half his retinue. Power of cavalry and hammer and anvil tactics in this beautiful unbalanced game. Let's pull away. Let's get every soldier here for one another charge. Like he is going to is very much in our favor. reform here. Right here, Lewin. Come on. Messed up formation. Let's go. Garth is probably very close to death. Come on, take him out. There he goes, stabbed by the Citadel Guard. Alright, that... I'm lucky. That's the end of Saruman's forces. The White Hand will be nothing more than a bunch of rebellious orcs. Our forces 
Enemy camp is sacked. Yes, finally. Isengard is completely destroyed. It's interesting how it became the tree garth again. It's not actually taken by, by the Ents, but that is a much more manageable army. Some trolls and some orcs. Yeah, I will just, I'll probably just let that be. I mean, as much as I want it. I do really want it. I don't have the forces at this time. I'll capture it soon. It'll be very, very soon. Let's get a steward's hole. <sighs> Finally, that part is done. I can call the orc threat over in the west. I just have enemies in the east. All my attention can be made over here. So until the next one, my friends, farewell.